Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi, Ceci. How are you? Fine, thank you. Are you ready for your English class? Yes. All right, excellent. Today is Thursday. Back in action Thursday. How do you feel today? How do you feel today? ¿Cómo se sienten hoy? How do you feel today? Very well, teacher. All right. I like that. Okay, so today we're going to go ahead and get started. And we're going to be looking at the following section. In the previous class, we were looking at the countable and non-countable nouns. Do you remember? And then we looked at the knowledge check. In the knowledge check, we were analyzing the section that is over here, right? Adam, uh, the store doesn't have any potatoes. And then it says, uh, well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. And then it says, then let's get some celery. Adam says, no, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in it. And then we have the apples in the potato salad. So we were doing this activity yesterday in yesterday's class. So today we will continue with section number 4.5. Is everybody in section 4.5? Todos yes. estamos in section, okay. By the end of this class, you will learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Al finalizar esta clase, ustedes aprenderán sobre alimentos comunes del desayuno en diferentes países. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra algunas diferencias culturales en la comida. All right, let's listen to the audio. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what people in the U.S., Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The U.S. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee, jam, jelly, Japan, fish, rice, soup, pickles, green tea, Mexico, eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, Sweet bread, coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. 
Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times as necessary. I would also like for you to answer the following question in our discussion forums. What do you have for breakfast? All right, guys. Now what we're going to do is we're going to practice the vocabulary. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about we're going to practice common the pronunciation of the countries. vocabulary. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what people in the U.S., Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. All right, everybody, please repeat after me. What do you have for breakfast? 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 The U.S. The U.S. The U.S. Eggs. Eggs. Bacon. Bacon. Toast with butter. Toast with butter. Butter. Orange juice. <clears throat> Orange juice. Orange juice. Coffee. 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 Jam. 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 Or jelly. 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 All right. Japan. 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 Fish. 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 Rice. 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 Soup. 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 Pickles. 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 Green tea. Green tea. Green tea. Mexico. 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 Eggs. Eggs. Beans. 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 Tortillas. 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 Fresh fruit. Fresh, Fresh fruit. fruit. Sweet bread. Sweet, Sweet bread. bread. Coffee with milk. Coffee, Coffee with, with milk. milk. All right, listen, please. What do you have for breakfast? The U.S. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee. Jam. Jelly. Japan. Fish. Rice. Soup. Pickles. Green tea. Mexico. Eggs. Beans. Tortillas. Fresh fruit. Sweet bread. Coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates mm -hmm. the topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast. All right, listen please. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Repeat, please. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. Okay, okay. come, come to, house. My house. to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast. My family, my family always has a Japanese breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? Really? really? What do you what have? Do you have? <coughs> we usually have fish, rice, and soup. We usually, we usually have fish, rice, rice, and, soup. rice and, soup. and soup. Fish for breakfast? <coughs> fish for, fish breakfast? for breakfast. For breakfast. That's interesting. That's, That's interesting. interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. So we have, we have a salad, a salad too. And we always have green tea. And we and always, we always have, green tea. have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. 
Well, well, I well, I mean, well, I mean, uh, fish, right, right, fat. But I really like to try new things. I well, really, really like to try new, new things. things. All right, so right now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work in pairs. And I would like for you to practice the conversation. Practice the conversation in pairs. Does anybody have any questions referring to the vocabulary or pronunciation in the dialogue? Mm -hmm. ¿Alguien tiene alguna consulta o pregunta sobre el vocabulario del diálogo? Okay, let's go. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style. Breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That it is interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but uh, I like to try new things. Okay. My turn. Okay. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, uh, come to my house. My family always uh, has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. <clears throat> really? What do you have? Uh, we usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Something we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. We'll never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. New things, okay. De la, Continue. Eh, de lo que parece uh -huh. ahí en el, en el diálogo, hay algo que no entienda, alguna palabra. Okay. ¿Cómo? No sé, el, el vocabulario nuevo, que no entienda. Que no entienda. Ajá, usted. No, sí, tengo claro. No tiene claro, ok. Vamos a ver. Ah, unas cosas, ok. Tenemos un breakfast, un receso. I come in my house and my family always. El, el breakfast, ¿cómo lo entiende? Breakfast es desayuno. Breakfast, desayuno. Sí. Es un desayuno. Espérame, que ahorita me acabo de despertar y ando un poquito, un poquito zombie. <risa> Que estaba dormido y ahorita me acabo de despertar. Ok, desayuno, ok. Desayuno. All right, all right. Let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers, please. All right, Vladimir. Ceci. Vladimir and Ceci. 
No se vaya a reír de mi voz, pues. It's all right. You can do it. No, estoy enfermo. Okay, me too. Action. Vladimir and Ceci. Action. Vladimir, yes. you are going to be Kumiko and Ceci, you're going to be Sara. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come, come to my house, my family always has happiness. Really? Silent breakfast. Really? On What's Sunday? Hola. Re really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice in the soup. Fish for very fast. Dance uh, intelligent. Sometimes we have our salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to the new thing. All right, applause, applause for the participants. <laughs> All right, Vladimir, select somebody. Ceci, select somebody. Okay. Ahorita, teacher. <laughs> que si está por ahí, eh, no, no está Carlita. Entonces, que sea William. All right, yes. William. Carlos Somoza. Carlos Somoza. Action. William, you are Kumiko. Claudia Somoza, you are Sara. Okay. Perfect. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese a still breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish fries and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. All right. Finish. Good job, William. Good job. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to write here in the discussion forum what you have for breakfast. I want you to give me 10 examples. You're going to write titulo, your name. You're going to write number one. I have a coffee for breakfast. I have a coffee for breakfast. Number two. I have beans pupusas. for breakfast. All right, pupusas. Number three. I have pupusas for breakfast. All right. Me, va, me van a dar 10 oraciones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You have 10 minutes starting right now. 10 minutes starting right now. Action. Can you see my examples? I have a coffee for breakfast. I have beans for breakfast. I have pupusas for breakfast. Pueden ver mi pantalla? Quieren que les deje la pantalla o no dejo la pantalla? Yes. Dejo la pantalla? Yes. Okay.
aquí. All right, all right. Como vamos? Finish. Everybody finished? Everybody finished? Watch this video as well. All right. Si no ha terminado, le va a quedar de tarea. In our discussion, what do you have for breakfast? All right, 4.7, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán cómo usar los adverbios de frecuencia cuando hablamos sobre comida. Adverbs of frequency, listen please, listen please. 
Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food. Let's get started by analyzing the examples on the chart. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Let me start by explaining what adverbs of frequency are and how we can categorize them. Adverbs of frequency are words that come before the verbs and they express frequency. For example, if you would like to express that you take a shower every day, 100% of the time, that will be always, you can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I always take a shower. This means I take a shower 100% of the time. If you would like to express that you never smoke cigarettes, uh, this means 0% of the time. You can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I never smoke cigarettes. This means 0% of the time. The easiest way to categorize adverbs of frequency is by giving each a percentage number. So let's do just that. Always equals 100% usually 80%, often equals 70%, sometimes equals 50%, hardly ever equals 25%, never equals 0%. Next, I would like to explain how to use them and in which order to use them. Typically, we will use adverbs of frequency after the pronoun or subject. We can follow this formula. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I always eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is always. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is sometimes. The verb is eat, and the complement is breakfast. I would like to show an exception to this rule. If you notice the example, sometimes I eat breakfast. With the adverb of frequency, sometimes, you may put that at the beginning, just like you see on the example. Sometimes I eat breakfast. You may also say, I sometimes eat breakfast, just like we've learned in this class by putting the adverb of frequency after the subject. And finally, you may say the following, I eat breakfast sometimes. You can put the adverb of frequency at the end of your sentence. 
The last point that I would like to touch in this class is how to form questions and answers about frequency. Let's start by understanding how to form questions. You may follow this formula, auxiliary do or does, plus the subject, plus ever, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. Let's take a look at the example question now. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? The uh, auxiliary verb is do. After that, we have the subject you. Then we will add ever. Next, we will add the, a verb have. Finally, we need to add a complement fish for breakfast. And we can answer this type of question in different ways. For example, yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Now is your time to practice by giving lots of examples of your own. I would like for you to think about food, particularly the type of food you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and express how often you eat this type of food. For example, I always drink coffee for breakfast. I, I never drink coffee for dinner. I hardly ever eat fish for lunch. I never eat fish for breakfast. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to the discussion forum. You're going to give me 10 examples. Here where it says titulo, you're gonna write your name. And then you're gonna say, for example, number one, I always have coffee for breakfast. Number two, I never drink Coca-Cola for dinner. I Sometimes eat donuts for dessert. All right, I want you to give me 10 examples. Ready? Let's start.
All right, all right. Is everybody finished? All right, all right. Is everybody finished? Finished? Oh. Are you finished? Yes. All right. Si no ha terminado, le queda de tarea. We got to continue. We're going to move on and we're going to be looking at 4.9 knowledge check. Instrucciones, unscrabble the sentences, write each sentence in the correct order. Decifra instrucciones. Decifre. Sorry, guys. Decifre las oraciones, escriba cada oración en el orden correcto. For example, number one, work, I, snacks, eat, at, hardly ever. Right, so you better see I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Boom. All right, do you have any questions? Okay, you have five minutes, five minutes.
All right, all right. Time's up. Are you finished? Is everybody finished? All right. So this one says, I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Number two, I sometimes eat pupusas for dinner. I often have my family. All right. Sorry about that. And the last one says, I often have dinner with my family. Now, the next one, we're going to be looking at 4.10 lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will read and discuss an article about special foods. Develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Al final de esta clase, leerán y discutirán un artículo sobre alimentos especiales. También desarrollarán destrezas en la lectura para la detección de los detalles. All right, so we're going to be looking at eating for good luck. Eating for good luck. Eh, son supersticiones, superstitions. Are you ready? Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about special foods. You will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. All right, now what you're going to do over here in the discussion forum, you're going to write a description of some food in El Salvador. For example, you're going to put your name where it says titulo. In here, you're going to say, for example, in El Salvador. Pupusas are the most delicious breakfast. They have beans and cheese. They also have meat and cheese. My favorite pupusas are cheese 
All right. Me van a dar por lo menos 10 oraciones. Empezando ya. Tiene 10 minutos. Describir de la comida cultural del Salvador.
All right, all right. <clears throat> Is everybody finished? Are you finished? Is everybody finished? Yes. Everybody finished? You finished? Yes, teacher. All right. Let's go. Let's go ahead and move on to the next activity. The next activity is going to be section 4.12, knowledge check, multiple choice, instructions, read the article, and then select the word that completes each sentence correctly. Instrucciones, lea el artículo, luego se tiene la palabra que completa correctamente cada oración. All right. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to be looking at this section, eating for good luck. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. All right, let's look at number one. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are mm, like years, round, sweet, or acid. What is your answer? Round. Round is correct. Number two, some Jewish people eat apples with syrup, candy, or honey. 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 For a sweet year. Greeks eat vasilopia bread with a bean inside, a coin inside, a rice inside. What is your answer? A coin. A coin inside. Number four. In mm, people eat 12 grapes for good luck in the new year. Spain, France, or Italy? Spain. Spain. Thank you. The Japanese eat chocolate, rice, or oatmeal cake for strength in the new year. Rice. Rice cake. Some Americans eat black eyed peas. Black eyed peas are like money, dollars, or coins. 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 All right. Let's check. Very good. That is correct. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Applause. All right, guys. Time's up. We're going to stop right here. Remember, you can continue with your part. If you want to continue, you can always continue. And we will see you again on Monday. Good night, guys. Good night, see you Bye. Monday. Good night. Be good. Bye-bye.